In Midwinter Entertainment's Scavengers, you're dropped into a frozen wasteland with no weapons, a lot of enemies, and a huge storm slowly moving towards you. Winning in these conditions is difficult enough, but some knowledge of what you're up against will increase your chances of surviving, if nothing else. When you wake up on Earth at the start of a match, the first thing you'll need to do is grab a weapon. There should be several near your location and you won't encounter any enemies when you start, giving you a precious few minutes to grab gear and any scrap from nearby structures. Your first instinct may be to rush straight to a larger outpost and start harvesting data, but unless you're certain of your starting gear and your teammates' ability to survive, you may want to divert to a small cache or two first to stock up. In Scavengers, there's no such thing as being over-prepared. Wherever you're running, keep your eyes peeled for local wildlife. While you and your squad may be able to take down a pack of mongrels with relative ease, a bear is a very different story. Remember, running away is a perfectly legitimate strategy. You also need to watch out for storms blustering across the map. Get caught up in one of these and you'll struggle to see anything nearby and your temperature will plummet. You'll need to find some shelter fast, or if you have an explorer on your team with a shield, use that for some temporary cover. When you're starting to feel prepared, it's time to hit an outpost. Outposts are often guarded by outlanders, a group of raiders descended from the last humans who stayed on Earth. Outlanders can quickly overwhelm you with their numbers, and will attack with a mix of melee and ranged weaponry. Keep an eye out for shrikes and dead eyes sniping from the tops of towers and walls, while maulers and rippers will rush you to deal huge melee damage. You'll also face many, many reavers in different forms, from the incredibly weak victuals to the heavily armoured elites. If you're not entering conflict with outlanders, then you're more than likely entering a nest full of the Scourge. These vicious alien creatures will rip you and your squad apart in mere seconds if you are not careful, and they have a nasty habit of sneaking up behind you when you least expect it. Along with hordes of thresh chasing you down, you'll need to contend with shrills drawing attention to you, wretches hurling their bile at your team from a distance, and bloat bile spreading toxic gas if you get too close. Keep your distance from all of these foes, and be sure to aim for the head. You should also make sure that you're scavenging as much as possible during quieter periods. Salvage is especially useful as it can be broken down for materials to use when researching and unlocking new items, gear and skills for future games. To make use of that salvage, you'll need to get on the dropship at the end of a game, which is far easier said than done. Unless you're kitted out with some of the best gear on the wasteland, you shouldn't rush straight to the ship and start a fight. Instead, hang back from the dropship until the last minute and try and sneak on board through one of the quieter entrances. Scavengers is a tricky, unforgiving game, but with the right squad and some clever planning, you'll make it out of the wastelands alive. Try it for free in early access on Steam and the Epic Games Store today.